Archaeologists digging on the route of a new high-speed railway in southern England have unearthed what they've described as an astounding set of Roman statues. Simon Jones reports. A dig with a difference. Unearthing statues described as rare, remarkable, incredible. The head and shoulders of a woman, a bust of a man, plus the head from a statue of a child in such good condition that archaeologists say it's like looking into the faces of the past. The team that found them can't disguise their excitement or the smiles on their faces. Pretty much a giant grin. Um, everybody was really, really astounded to find them. They're just so unusual and so well preserved as well. Really, really good condition. The only problem is that the, the heads are no longer on the shoulders. We found uh, the female head first and what turned out to be the male shoulders so we could tell that the head didn't quite fit that set of shoulders. And then the following day we found the male head and the other set of shoulders. There used to be a Norman church on the site built in 1080. This is what it would have looked like. But it was when the team were excavating the remains of that that they discovered another building underneath. It was a mausoleum, a Roman tomb. A hexagonal glass jug was also uncovered with large pieces intact. These are the latest finds along the route of the HS2 line. At London Euston, thousands of skeletons are being moved from an ancient burial site. Back in Buckinghamshire, these statues will now be cleaned up and heads reunited with shoulders. We may never know who these people actually were, but the hope is the statues will eventually go on display, the first time they'll have been seen in public for more than a thousand years. While experts are left wondering, what else might be buried beneath England's medieval village churches? Simon Jones, BBC News.